And so he said, I'm going to send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. And then he says, be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Now understand this because, again, a dove has no bitterness, has no gallbladder, and there is no bitterness in the individual. But we are sent forth wise, not sly in the wrong sense, but sharp as meatballs, twice as juicy, my figure is speech. Wise as serpents, but harmless without guile as what? Dove. Shake the dust off of our feet and keep moving. Now in the light of all this greatness of the victory of believing, your subject here that was selected for this occasion, I want to go to Genesis chapter 13. More tolerable for the city of, of more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now I want to go back to Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 13. And Abraham did what? Went up out of Egypt. I'm in Genesis 13, 1, first book in the Old Testament. Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him into the south. Lot was his nephew, the son of his brother who had died. Verse 2, and Abraham was rich, no, he was what? Very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abraham called on the name of what? See, he left Egypt and went back, and the first thing he did after he got there is call on the name of the Lord. Someday you're going to leave the college division, and you're going on. You've got to keep God first and call on the name of the Lord first, or you're going to get in the shoe. Now verse 5, And Lot also, which went with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tents, And the land was not able to bear them, to sustain the cattle and the oxen and so forth. They didn't have enough to eat that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. They couldn't herd their animals and have enough to eat for all of them. Number seven, and there was strife between the herdsmen of Abraham's cattle and the herdsmen of Lot's cattle. The first thing I want you to note is the word strife. Leave some space below that word on your paper because you're going to put five others below it before I finish. The first thing that happened was disagreement, strife, fight between the workers of Abraham's cattle and the workers of Lot's cattle. Verse 8, Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife. Your fellows are fighting. Now what will happen is you and I are going to fight pretty soon. So Abraham said to Lot, Let's not get into a fight. Let there be no strife. I pray thee, between me and what? I told you. And between my herdsmen and thy herdsmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. 
If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right, Abraham said. If thou depart to the right hand, then I'll go to the left. Verse 10, And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. And that's the second thing I want you to note. The word lifted is the word beheld, and Lot beheld with his eyes all the plain of Jordan. He saw it. He saw the rich plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. He saw that with his eyes, and of course having a mind as he beheld it, he thought it true that it would be a very profitable place to herd the cattle and to increase his possessions. Even as the garden of whom? The Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest into Zor. Verse 11. Then Lot chose him all the plain of what? Right. And that's the third thing I want you to note. Verse 11. Lot, by his own free will, chose him the plain of Jordan. Abraham had said, if you go one way, I'll go the other. If you go the other way, I'll go the other way. Then Lot looked, and he thought it through, and Lot said to himself, well, if I really want to be the, have it the best, I've got to go this direction. So he chose himself by the freedom of the will, all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. And they separated themselves, Abraham and Lot the one from the other. Verse 12, Abraham dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plains, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. And that's the fourth thing I want you to note in verse 12. He pitched his tent means he set his mind and his action toward Sodom. That's the first thing. Whether he knew what the next verse says, I don't know. But the next verse says, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord. How? They were baddies. 